What's up, bruh? 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 <laughs> Vector 7 Onassis here. And today, as a part of our Good String series for Brian Fury, we're pulling out the extension cord and we're looking at his ground game. Welcome. This is New Wave Tekken. Tekken, 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 Tekken. And begin. So you've knocked your opponent to the ground. Good stuff, champ. But now, how do you inflict further punishment on your opponent and make them, I don't know, chuck their controller across the damn room? Well, first you can go with kickoff, number 70 in Brian's move list, with the input of a quarter circle back four. This attack flips your opponent over like them pancakes in a nonstick. And if they don't get up the right way, or at all, you can flip the pancake over and over again. <laughs> And if they do decide to get off the ground as you rush in on them, let's just say with wake up mid kick, and you manage to hit them with kickoff as they move to attack, you will get a counter hit launcher from it. Insert combo, they do not pass go, they do not collect $200, and right back onto the ground they go. Though this move does have a wonky hitbox and sometimes doesn't hit a grounded opponent, even though for the life of us, we know it freaking should. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Out in the open, and when your opponent pops off the ground in quick blocks, this move is minus 12 on block. So your opponent can bruise your face up a bit if this doesn't work out for you, bro. Next up is move 69 in Brian's set, Hatchet Kick. I love the name of the attacks in Brian's move list. <laughs> He's such a perfect psycho. Anyway, this beautiful move is like an ax to your opponent's leg. Brian will be plus five, which means he can do moves like Blackout Combo and Blackout Trap. For more on these moves, hit the card in the upper right hand corner of your screen, where the wizard himself covers some of Brian Fury's beginner stuff. Again out in the open or getting off the ground quick and your opponent blocks this low attack, Brian will be minus 13 on block, which for a devastating low attack like Hatchet Kick, meh, isn't the worst thing in the world, my dude. Unless it's against Kazuya, then yeah, you're giving up those cheeks. Just remember, you can be punished if your opponent's guess is right getting off the ground. And you can also be low parried too, bro. And the last move, a part of this extension cord, is move 31 on Brian's list, Wolf Tail. You know, I never realized how much of Brian's move list has to do with animals. You think in Tekken 8 he'll have a pet tiger? Anyway, Wolf's Tail is a very particular move, more so than others in that it takes a lot of frames to come out for a mid attack. It's a homing move that's safe on block at minus five, and the most killer part is that it knocks your opponent down at your feet, which is beautiful. This move is not steppable, but it is slow with a startup of 23 frames. You may have trouble implementing this move out in the open. A good chopping elbow, whether on hit or on block, may deter your opponent from pressing any buttons, allowing you to implement this move out in open space. Use all three aforementioned moves, that would be Kickoff, Hatchet Kick, and Wolf's Tail, as a simple, though quite effective three-way mix-up to frustrate your opponent for attempting to side roll off the ground. Pressing a button getting off the ground, getting up and crouching from off the ground, attempting a get-up attack off the ground, or perhaps most frustrating of all, for just lying there on the ground. Quick side note, if you notice your opponent likes to spring attack and you're too close to backdash because, you know, you're trying to set the mix up, you can sidestep and grab or perform right left to spin kick, which guess what? Knocks your opponent down and you're right back into the run up and mix up game and get to decide what's for breakfast. No wonder this cyborg bad boy is always smiling. Anyway, I got some tech in the go play and I'm sure you do too. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And remember, a good string is like a good song. No matter how many times you repeat it, it's just as good as it was the first time.